Mr. Jamilov recently provided a suggestive account of how the Tatar community in exile received the news of the death of their benefactor, Joseph Stalin. The death that occurred in 1953. And I want to cite this account because it contains an evocative image to which I shall return later. When Stalin died in 1953, Mr. Jamilov was in elementary school, obviously in exile. He writes that everyone at the school was crying, because again, those of us who know something about Soviet history know all too well. Everyone at the school was crying, except of course the Crimean Tatars. And Jemilov describes the scene thus, and I quote, At the news of Stalin's death, all the staff and students were sobbing as if it were the end of the world. I watched our school administrator weeping and thought, he must be pretending. My father had told me one thing about Stalin, yet this guy was crying like it really was the end of the world. The school administrator made a speech in front of the children. Continue quoting Mr. Jibidoff. The school administrator told us that the great leader of all the people had died. He then stopped talking and began sobbing. And he then left the room. I figured he must be pretending, so I followed him into the empty classroom next door to see what was really going on, whether he was sincere. There I saw him actually beating his head against the wall as he continued to cry. Mr. Jemilov continues, But we, the Tatar students, we, we weren't crying. So a boy by the name of Reshat Bekmanbetov ran up to us and said, Listen, everybody's crying. Only our people aren't crying. We could be thrown into jail for this. So I, Mustafa Jamilov, so I brought an onion and rubbed it under all of our eyes so that we too would be seen crying. Without the onion, there would have been no tears. End of quotation. <laughs> 